Saturday morning, we're going to go do a studio visit with Basmat Levin today, and we're off uh, to Tribeca to go see her artwork. Let's do it. Hey guys and gals, I'm Ethan, and welcome to my channel. Um, I'm actually bringing you this vlog live from an exhibition immersion by Basmat Levin. She has art all around me, and I'm literally standing on her art. This uh, interest in Basmat Levin led me to do a studio visit, which was the most dangerous studio visit I've ever gone on. So keep watching. It's actually interesting, uh, since COVID, all the restaurants now have taken part of the street, so it's harder to actually see. It's a little risky, so if you put, put your head out, you might get your head cut off. You're hot. So we arrived and uh, we're in Tribeca. It cost us $12.30 with giving him a dollar tip. Uber would have been $19 and then they even were trying to charge me $27 to come down. So go New York City taxis. Just pushing now Basmat. So we're gonna go up and see her. I'm excited. This is gonna be interesting. It's Basmat. Hey. hey! How are you doing, Basmat? Welcome. Thank you so much. Can we have a studio visit? Yeah, yeah, come okay, in. Come okay, in. let's do it. One of the challenges of the art dealer is to wear the hat of the curator. So what I'm looking for today of Basmat's art is what key piece or pieces are really strong. What two or three pieces together are going to be convincing that really flow, that are really attractive to the eye. And then the third is what best represents Basmat's art practice. Let's do it. Oh my. It's so cool. It is literally cool in here. It is cool and it is cool. Yeah. Wow. So this is this is your uh, I love this. This is where it's you fix your palette. Paint. My palette. Your palette. My dirty palette. Yeah, I like the uh, creative uh, wild yeah. color. All the edges here. I have like all oh my, my God, dirty colors. Wow. These are my blues and my reds and my yellows. It's all in. What is this? This is. Um... Yeah, this is my the medium. Make the paint dry fast. Paint and the next day it's dry and I can continue. And on a painting like this, yeah. If you didn't, if it hadn't dried, can you still work in it? Yeah, but then it gets muddy. But it's a style. Some people like to. Then it gets a muddy effect. When I first met Basmat, really, what, 20 years ago, you were a painter in uh, New York City. Right. Uh, you were sharing a studio with Jeannie Weisskatz, who's another right. artist that I love. That's true. And we, we went to school together. Yeah. Oh, you, oh, you did? You were yeah. We went to a uh, studio school. I heard that you landed in Shanghai. Then I started to follow you on Instagram, and I, I saw some, uh, we had friends in common. I was going to Shanghai sometimes with Chinese art. When uh, I met you the first time, like, I don't know how old was this, when I was this, yeah, it's about 25 yeah. years ago. And uh, you were the only person that had a, a art, Chinese art, who said, wow, China is so far away. When you Basically, you paint large. I paint very large. I mean, this here is actually what I wanted to show you. This is quite different. This I is love Israel. It. Oh, Israel. Yes. This is Israel. Wow. Uh, when I came uh, at the beginning of the corona, I just arrived from Israel. And, uh, you know, you remember New York was, we were all in jail. So I made this one. And I put a canvas all to the side of that wall uh -huh. and I painted and I took photos that I brought from Israel of landscape and I call it from my window because you know it, it was we couldn't leave the house with the corona so I had this one and I have this one that I'll show you in a minute yeah but I really it's interesting I love your your landscape whoa whoa whoa, whoa. whoa careful the, the, the studio they, they studios with heavy the, canvases <laughs> this one I made actually after Modigliani I, I like this is just like flowers, which I like also. You know, you have to, you need some green in life. And we are living in the city, so I created 
create myself all this great stuff. Yeah, I like it. It's very bold and colorful and uh, strong and actually there's a lot of texture there. Yeah, because there are layers and layers and layers. I just paint and I then what, what I do, I paint and then if I don't like, I change the color, I go back, you know, until I'm happy. So every painting has layers and layers and layers of paint. So you might work on a painting for a week, two weeks, I a work, month, two I months? I work at the same time on maybe 15 paintings, 10 paintings, whatever so, I have a space. In Shanghai I have a very big studio, so then I work on it. It's all full of painting, I come in the morning, I say, okay, who I'm going to work on today? You. And I work. Then I work on that and that, and then I let it dry. I come the next day, I continue. Sometime I just like put paintings aside and I come back in a year, in a month, whatever. You never know how you'll feel in the morning. That's it, no rules. My goal here, as I told you before we arrived, I'm trying to pick out a certain number of paintings that resonate, that I feel that are strong, powerful, that are gonna really help Basmat stand out as a painter. I think her boldness in her color is strong. Her landscapes are very strong. Her faces are strong. So we're going to try to look this, for some faces yeah. now. This is just. Oh, um, I love this. Yeah. Wow, that's really powerful, Basma. Actually, Basma, I really like that. Thank yeah, you. I think it's really it's colorful. It's got that decorative sense. You just want to touch it, and the colors are so interesting. And um, if I were, I am a collector. I could, I could, <laughs> I could actually imagine this on my wall. It's good to be really aware of the different levels of finished uh, execution. You signed it, right? So you, for you, it is it's Yeah, finished. I stopped. I decided stopped. to stop because yeah. I, I felt that it's nice. I have some paintings that are like this. You know, I have. Uh, I stop whenever I feel it's 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 okay yeah, that I like it. So yeah. sometimes I continue and continue and continue. Sometimes I stop right away. Yeah. Typical student, complex artist has so much that she's showing us. Now the real challenge is how to hone in on the golden nuggets. How do we want to actually show her work? That's important. Okay. I love this painting. I think yeah. this is this. I love it. Yeah, it's a really good piece, and I'm just thinking that somehow. Hold on one second. Wow. See, that's an almost. It's like a statement. Yeah. That's nice. That's what I like about colors and, and, and shapes and everything. Um, if you choose the right colors, it's, there is a harmony between paintings. If not, it can be not horrible. It can scream in your face or it can work out. And I'm trying always to find the harmony, even though it is so, so colorful. It's, for me, it's, it's working. Yeah. But there's something interesting about the juxtaposition between yeah. these two works. I agree. And even though the, the, maybe it's the, it's the contrast, the, the red lips, the red hair, the pink glasses, the stripes, and then somehow these almost like eyes of color, you know, and circles. This one I did uh, during the corona. Yeah. Um, I have in China, a lot of my friends work for uh, Louis Vuitton, and I took the logo of Louis Vuitton, and I decided that, that the world was so sad and, and depressed. So I took this one and I made a happy uh, Louis Vuitton uh, pattern, and I called it like a uh, hope. And I, I, I wanted the Louis Vuitton to do, to do something with something colorful and nice, you know, to, to cheer up the world. But anyway, That's so I'm the one that got cheered up. This one and this one might be fabulous. Might be just fabulous. I'm just thinking because you see, you've got your decorative elements, you've got your portrait, and then you have your uh, sort of the, the circles. Uh, that, that might be really interesting presentation for a big wall. I'm, I'm just looking, I, I'm trying to think about now something that's going to wow people. Uh, thank you so much. It was a wonderful experience seeing your art today. Thank you. thank you very much for sharing with us. Thank you for coming all the way. 20 blocks. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Okay, let's go. Oh, that was an intense, delicious experience at uh, Basmat Studio. We even had got breakfast and lunch in combination. It was great. First floor. <clears throat> no, that was really interesting. Um, Basmat has such energy and she is working so hard. I see three different areas of her talent and I think I'd like to show all three. So I think that maybe 
combination of some of her very colorful works with a portrait and maybe the portrait of the family gives a real sort of cross-section of her talent. Today was a really rich experience looking at Basmat's paintings. She has so much to choose from, but in fact, that really makes the challenge even more difficult because we have to really pick out of all her wonderful pieces four and maybe three that are going to stand together that are exciting. But I think we picked out, I think we've pinpoint which ones we like. So I look forward to sharing those with you soon at the Southampton Art Fair on September 2nd to the 5th. Anyway, that's all from me today. And if you liked what you saw, give us a like and subscribe. And if you've already subscribed and done all that, then I'd like you to do one thing. Do something creative. Ciao and au revoir.